In this video we're going to upgrade the SSD on Lenovo ThinkPad X130E. First of all you need to move the battery and then we need a T5 Torx screwdriver and there's basically two screws exposed one screws under the little sticker. Uh, the right screw on the cover, that, that one, this one is covered. So basically either you remove the little plastic trim or just uh, unscrew it on top of that. Remove the cover and there you are. The hard drive is right there. It's held by two screws. I'm using the electrical screwdriver basically two screws. This is one and this is the other. <coughs> Once you've done that, lift up the hard drive. Yeah, just slide it out. If you can't just push, yeah, put a pressure like that and there you go, comes right up. There's two screws, one on each side. By the way, this one is, uh, takes slim hard drive, so this is the other that I'm gonna be using is also slim. Uh, so 2.5 inch SATA drive has two kinds, the slim drive and the standard drive. Now unscrew the two screw from the caddy. This is one and this is the other. Remove that and now replace it with SSD with new hard drive. I'm using SSD because this laptop is pretty slow and SSD regardless of the specs of the laptops, it makes it extremely fast. <clears throat> Just make sure that that the hard drive or the SSD drive you need to upgrade is a matching drive in terms of thickness. Um, once you put all the caddy back in place, if you don't, by the way, if you have got a missing caddy, you can just buy double sided tape or whatever other means you can. Just make sure you secure the drive in place and don't make it sort of freely moving around in the display because that's going to damage or at least it's going to disconnect the drive. Once you're all done and said and done, put the cover back on, screw in the three torque T5 screws and <clears throat> yeah that's it. There's not a lot but after you've done that just uh, get a bootable USB from eBay or any other website. You know, go to your BIOS, or just press the, the faction key that boots it from the USB. The rest is pretty explanatory. By the way, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that shows you how to install Windows.